Hi everybody and welcome to a new video in the PyTorch for audio and music processing series. Last time we saw how we can cut and pad audio signals in order to have the right length for processing audio uh, files directly in our Urban Sound dataset class. This time we're going to finish off working on this class by adding GPU processing. In a previous video we already said how we can run stuff on GPU, so we're basically going to reuse the same syntax but applied here in the Urban Sound dataset. So the first thing that I want to do is go down here in the script and check out whether uh, or just assign the type of device that we are uh, we are going to be using. We'll start with a conditional statement. If torch dot CUDA is available, which basically checks whether we have GPU availability, then the device that we'll be using is called CUDA. Otherwise, if we don't have GPU, then we'll have the device being equal to CPU. In other words, we'll be running stuff on CPU. Okay, so now the next step is once we have the uh, device, let's just like print it so that we'll check which of this, whether like we're using CPU or CUDA. So we'll say using device and in this F string we'll pass the uh, device. Okay. That's cool. Now we take the device and we pass it here in the constructor to the urban sound dataset. Of course, we have to update this constructor now and we'll go up here and we'll pass it in here. We'll pass the device and then we'll just get it here. We'll do, I will just store the uh, information regarding device in a public attribute called device. So, Okay, so now the next step is that of a registering our transformation and the tensors that we are dealing with on the device that we are using. So how do we do that? Well, this is quite straightforward. So we go here to uh, self.transformation and this is equal to transformation and then we assign this, we register this to the device and we can easily do that by using this two uh, method. And here we just pass the uh, device. Well, rather than passing the, the uh, the the argument that we get here, yeah, we'll pass the the attribute. Now it's the same thing, but I just like feel it's nicer. Okay, then uh, now that the transformation has been registered to the device, if we are using GPU, this means that uh, the transformation will be using GPU. Otherwise, it will use CPU. Now that we've registered the device for our transformation, the next step is that of registering the device for the tensor that we'll be dealing with. And this happens in the get item magic method. Specifically here, after we load our audio time series using torch audio.load, we want to register the signal, which is indeed our waveform, uh, onto the device that we are using. So we'll use the same syntax that we've used for the transformation. In other words, we'll do a, a signal equal to signal dot two, and we'll pass the device here, so self dot device. Okay, so what this means is that now the signal has been registered onto the device and uh, it, it is just like passed through all of these operations if that's necessary. And if you don't remember what these operations are, just like go and check out the previous videos. And then once the signal goes down here, uh, it, it is passed to the transformation and both the transformation and this um, signal tensor work on the same device. Great. So now if you do have GPU uh, acceleration enabled, then what this means is that we are all set to run this script and have the urban sound data set uh, running pre-processing all of its steps and then the extraction of the melt spectrogram directly on GPU. So I do have CUDA GPU enabled, so I'm gonna run this and see whether like this works. So let's run, oops, I don't want to debug this, but I do want to run it. So let's see. And here we go. So we are using device 
uh, CUDA, so that's fine. And the, the, the script went through all of its uh, steps, so it didn't throw an error, so it's working fine. Great. So now you know how to run audio pre-processing on GPU uh, using, of course, a custom PyTorch dataset. So this is great news because after a few videos uh, staying on the Urban Town dataset, we are finally done with this class. And so starting from the next video, we'll start building a, a model that we'll use to do classification with the Urban Town dataset. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if that's the case, please remember to leave a like and to subscribe to the Sound of AI channel. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Take care.